Hey guys, Wes here from Blue Effects and today I'm going to be teaching you how to download as well as use this free intro template right here in HitFilm Express. So this intro is actually fully customizable and available for you to download right now in the description. And uh, if you enjoy this type of content, please leave a like down below and actually comment telling us that you enjoy these things. We're trying to make uh, videos and templates in all the different software packages so that you guys can uh, have access to it no matter what you use. But let's get into actually how to actually use this template and customize it so that it suits your channel and your branding and your business. So starting off in HitFilm Express, the first thing we wanna obviously do is import the actual template that you can download in the first line of the description. So once I've downloaded that, I can get over here in HitFilm Express and I'll click on import. I've already opened it up, but obviously it comes like this, access, you get 3D Ribbon Universal, and then I'm gonna import all of these. So I'm gonna obviously import the background, the lens flare file, and then one of these. So I'm gonna go with the blue one since it suits our Blue Effects logo the best, but obviously you can pick whichever one you want. And I'm gonna open all three of these files within HitFilm. Now, to start working with these, I wanna create a brand new composition. And so to do that, I'm gonna click this plus button and click a new composite shot. So over here in the compositing shot, I'm gonna rename this to be intro. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this so far and you like us giving you free templates that you can download completely for free, why not leave a like down below and tell us what you think about this tutorial and also share it with all of your friends. Nevertheless, now that I'm in my new composition, I'm gonna drag the background into my composition. This is already formatted for 1080p, so you don't have to worry about resizing it. Then what I'm gonna do is obviously uh, drag in my actual ribbon file. So let's drag that in. And again, it's already perfectly processed right there and it's looking smooth, it's looking crisp, it's looking clear, it's looking amazing if I don't say so myself. Now, what we obviously wanna do is actually reveal our logo. So the beauty about this is that it reveals at this point over here when the entire text or the screen, the middle of the screen where your logo would be sitting is covered up by this ribbon. So let's again import our logo. So I'm gonna go over here and just import my logo quickly. And then once I have my logo imported, I'm gonna drag it below um, below the actual ribbon file, but above the background layer. And here it is. So if you play through, we can see it reveals a logo. The problem is that right now, the logo is way too big. So let's resize that. With the logo selected, let's head up to controls, and then we can just scale that down a bit so that it's over there. And now the ribbon will basically reveal it. The problem is that it's obviously being seen beforehand. So let's zoom into the point until where the ribbon is about to reveal it. So it should be here. So somewhere around here, we want the file to begin. I'll then just drag it from the side and drag it so it starts at that point. So what we have so far is this. Pretty cool, pretty cool, um, pretty cool actually, yeah. So there is some sound actually playing with this actually at the moment. So if you take a listen to it, it sounds something like this. And as you can hear, there's actually, I'm gonna actually add one of my earphones in. There's actually a little zing sound that's happening at the end happening right over here. And a good way to actually do this is by at this point right here, what we can do is we can actually add in some text that sort of syncs up with that. So I'm gonna go over here, hit the text tool, and I'm gonna drag a little box over here, and I'm gonna type in, in caps, three, whoops, can I spell today, templates. All right, with the text selected, let's hit the text panel. I'm gonna click a font that I like. It's called Gotham Black. I really like it, it's very professional looking. It's very easy to use. And I'm gonna set it to be black. We'll then center that text and I'll just position it underneath. And I'll make it start at this point. Now to do a quick fade in, all we gotta do is go to controls. We hit the keyframing for opacity, drag it down to zero. And then we just hit like maybe a few frames forward. It's arbitrary really how many frames and we go over here. And if you play through it now, we can actually hear it time up with the actual little chime. In the pack, it comes with a green, orange, and a blue version. But obviously, if your logo is in one of those colors, you may want to change this ribbon so that it matches your logo a bit better. And within HitFilm Express, this is extremely easy. All you need to do is follow my steps. Head up to the Effects panel and search for Hue Colorize. There it is. We then click on Hue Colorize and we drop it onto our clip. 
immediately once it lands on the clip the color will change now if we don't want red obviously we can then just click over here in the controls panel and play around with the hue dial so we can just slide it around and we'll see all of the different colors of the rainbow over here so let's say maybe my logo is a bit on the orangey yellow side of things looking a bit ugly let's actually go to the dark blue side of things then obviously the hue strength we can decrease that to make it look more like the original color or increase that we can also boost the saturation or actually decrease the saturation for a bit more of a you know muted effect we can always change it back maybe you want to go for like a bit of a pink look we can then also change the lightness so we can make it pure white or we can drag it all the way down to, in to sort of decrease the lightness and introduce a bit more detail into it and obviously all of this is possible with the little hue colorize effect within HitFilm Express. Amazing. There's one final detail I want to add actually that's included in the pack and that's this little lens flare file. Now the cool thing about this is you drag it in and you may feel like oh no it's actually just all black but the thing is this is timed perfectly with our intro so it's actually really easy to use. So all you have to do over here is right click it head up to blend and change the blending mode to screen and automatically you have an amazing intro that looks something like this if you guys have enjoyed this video please leave a like down below as well as subscribe to our channel in order to see more free templates and also turn on notifications so that you are notified when we release new new free templates that's again completely free to download for all of you guys if you're interested in this one or any of our other previous products please take a look in the description we're going to be linking everything that i spoke about as well as everything that you can check out whether it's paid or free and you'll be supporting us as well please share it with all of your friends let them know about this amazing new resource and we'll see you in the next one